being offered today for peace in our community, his prayers being offered today for victims of violence who they need to know our support and love around them. And there's also being prayer, prayers being offered in support of the safety and wisdom for law enforcement. So I thank you. I ask you to join with us and always know that Crime Stoppers is here for you as a support and resource to you and your family. God bless. Today we pray for our hope, hope for our community to end the violence, hope for the victims of crime, and hope for law enforcement that they would do their job justly. We've been blessed today to have faith leaders who heard the call to prayer and wanted to be here and showed up, uh, Christian, Jews, Muslims, and we pray because we believe in the power of prayer that prayer changes things. I pray that we put an end to violence and that we embrace each other as community and family and that we continue to live in harmony. The other day I met with the chaplains and a one of the wise chaplains said to me, and I remember hearing it from someone else, the soul knows no color. And when we start at that premise in life, we would be much better served to reflect upon that each and every day. Faithful God and Father, you have called us from the very beginning of time to live in peace and to be a peaceful people. We know that that is your dream for us. And so we ask you to look with mercy on our communities as we continue to experience violence and murder, and also racism that tears apart our communities. Lord, be merciful to us, for in what we do or what we do not do, we do not work towards that peace that you call us to. Isaiah 60, 18 says, I will make peace your leader and well-being your ruler. No longer will violence be heard in your land, no ruin or destruction within your borders, but you will be called your walls salvation and your gates will be called praise. So I thank you today, God, that the murder cease. I thank you today that the violent crime ceases. I thank you today, God, that every person who's aspiring to do some evil, God, you will touch their hearts. God, you will cause them to have a new mindset, God. And I thank you that we will work together to touch their hearts, God that they can be all you call them to be. So ask Allah, ask God to help you. Oh Allah, we ask you to protect our, our, our people, to protect our, those who protect us, the people who are serving us, to protect us. Oh Allah, protect them from all violence. And we ask all this violence to stop by your will. Only you, Allah, can stop the violence. Only you, Allah, can help us. Only you, Allah. Our Heavenly Father, first I want to thank you for your love and mercy and kindness that you've extended to us. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to gather together. And I'm asking you, Lord, that you look upon us with favor and watch over our first responders in every agency and guide us, Lord, day by day, helping us, Lord, to live a life that's pleasing in your sight. I pray and I ask all this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you. So, Father, even now, we repent, dear God, as a nation, as a people that messed up, that didn't get it right. But we thank you that you are God of another chance that gives us grace and mercy and allows us to start all over again. So we say thank you for looking behind our faults and thank you for seeing our needs. We I didn't get to see you crawl in the 
miss your first steps I didn't get to sing your ABCs I count one, two, three I know I missed it I didn't get to teach you how To ride a bike or fly your kite I didn't get to tuck you into bed 